Hello, yogis. Welcome to Happy Yoga Life Channel. Please grab a mat. Let's start the practice. Om Om Namaste. Welcome, welcome. So today is a Yin Yoga session. Today we will continue one of the eight limbs, Ashtanga. Yesterday we talked about first principle, which is ahimsa, nonviolence. Today、uh, we continue to the second principle, is satya, truthfulness. So let's gently close the eyes. Sit comfortably. Let your hands come to your knees or thighs. Let your palms facing upward. Let's take this opportunity to meditate upon satya, truthfulness. The truthfulness is much deeper than not lying. It is more about the truthfulness, truth with a capital T. Some truth might not be easy to to be seen. That they exist. One example being, the Earth is not flat. Right, the Earth is round, but there are many people perceive it as a flat entity, and there is actually flat Earth group. There was actually a joke. Someone from the Earth flat group says. Flat Earth group says, "Hey, because of six feet distance, did anyone got pushed out of the edge yet?"、Mm. Yeah, that's a joke about flat Earth. So it's different from perception. Truth is non-arguable. Perception is. So first, let's meditate upon, be truthful to ourselves. We can repeat this mantra. I am truthful to myself. Now bring the awareness to your body. See if you're truthful to the way you sit, to the way you breathe. And realize every breath you take, it's the truth. Now lengthen your breath. Observe the length of your breath. There's no need to act a certain way, to be perceived a certain way. Be truthful to yourself. Ultimately, will help others to understand you. Now observe your mind. Just bring your awareness to your thoughts. Be truthful to your thoughts. 
being truthful to your thoughts also means no judgment. Whatever they are, let them be. Being truthful also means accepting. When you're truthful to yourself, you fully accept yourself. There's no self-blame, self-criticism, or even thinking of yourself as a victim. None of those. So completely accept yourself is to be truthful to yourself. Now gently put palms together in front of your heart. Let's take three breaths together. Every inhale Silently say, I am truthful. Every exhale, silently say to myself. Now gently release your palms to the knees. Now gently open your eyes. So come to downward dog first. So just step your feet and left and right. And once you're getting ready, then put your right knee under uh, your right wrist. Right foot is behind the left wrist, but depends on your um, your configuration of your own bone structure. So use a block or a stack of pillow uh, to support your right hip. And so here is a right hip opener. But for the first minute, we will be um, pressing our palms on the floor keep the chest open so it arching the spine you can let your head go back or just simply stay here chest forward and feeling the effect of the right hip opening as well as the chest opening there's no need to specifically for alignment Feeling the comfort of the pose. We definitely don't want any pain on our knees. So if you do have pain of the knees, back out. So now gently you can put your forearm on the floor and then lower down your forehead to the forearms. And this is called sleeping swan. So you can just, you can even roll toward the right a little more in order to feel your right, right hip. And at this point of time, you can even take out the support around your right hip. Let your right hip just go onto the floor and stay here. And we'll stay here for one more minute. See if you can let the tension 
melt away just by simply saying, I am kind to you. Now slowly push your hands under the shoulders and push yourself up and back to downward dog. And feeling the effect of the two sides, the difference between the two outer hips. You can step your feet left and right. And then once you're ready, push your left knee below your left wrist and then lowering down your right knee. Maybe use a block for supporting the left hip. If you can get your um, shin bone, left shin bone square and um, parallel to the shorter edge, it's uh, known to be best for the knee. So it, there's no knee pain. So we stay here for one minute. Let your palms pushing on the floor, chest forward. And then gently can bring your arms down, forearms down. And put your forehead under on the, on the forearms. You can take out this block of support under the left hip. Just let the left hip be on the mat. And chest melt toward your left thigh, left shin bone. Stay here for one minute. And then gently, gently push yourself up and back to downward dog. And feeling the effect of the hip opening. And the knees down, come to child's pose for a few moments. And then slowly push up and we'll come to uh, the back. We'll do a bridge pose and then banana pose. So lay down on your back. If you don't have block, you can also use the pillow under the sacrum. So to have a more mild uh, bridge, supported bridge. So let your feet be hip width apart. And the inhale, lift your pelvic floor toward the sky and then put the mid height of your block under the sacrum. You can also use, uh, depending on your uh, flexibility, you can also use two blocks of any height or just even one block. It's uh, whatever works for your body. So choose. Um, a height of the block, we will extend the legs. So that will be a strong pose. So maybe use not so high for the height. We can stay here for 
one minute and then we'll extend the legs. Let your arms rest alongside your body. And slightly tuck your chin so the back of your neck is relaxed. Now gently extend your legs one at a time and let your heels be on the floor and your feet fall apart from each other. We'll just stay here for one minute. It's a very strong pose. If you wish, you can extend your arm over your head. Feeling the front of your thighs front of your lower belly. When you breathe in, that expansion. And now gently bend your knees one at a time. Bring your arms down. Stay for one moment. And then lift your hips, take out the block. And then extend your legs. So next week we'll do banana pose. So put your feet to the right lower corner and shift your buttocks to the left side. And now extend your arm to the upper right corner. So you will have this banana shape. So your bend banana, hips to the left, legs and hands to the right. Completely relax your shoulders on the floor. When you inhale, feeling that expansion of your left side torso. Relax your left hip. Relax your left shoulder. Now bring your left leg over onto your right ankle. That will deepen your stretch on the left side. Take one conscious breath and feel your body. And we stay here for one more minute.
observe your body. Be truthful to your body. No push, no pull, no judgment, no guilt. Now gently come back to center. Just lay in center for a moment. And then point your legs to the left. Shift your buttocks to the right. And extend your arms to the left side, left upper corner. Banana to the right. Or to the left, depends on the perspective. So it's the extension of the right side of torso. When you inhale, feeling your right hip and the right waist. Relax both your shoulders. Relax both your buttocks on the floor. Now gently cross your right leg over to your left ankle. And that will deepen a little more. Relax your right hip. Relax your right shoulder. Now gently bring your body back to center and come to Shavasana. Let your legs separate, arms along your body, alongside of your body, palms facing up. Slightly tuck your chin. Relax your shoulders onto the floor. Completely bring truthfulness to your body and to your mind. the principle of satya, truthfulness. For the next five or 10 minutes, Just relax. And meditating upon truthfulness.
If you're ready to come out of Shavasana, just start bring your awareness back to your body, back to your breath. Bring some micro movements, wiggle your fingers, toes, wiggle your wrists, ankles. Maybe stretch your arms over your head, stepping your feet away. Lengthen your breath and exhale with a sigh. If you feel that's comfortable, just do that two more times. And hug your knees to your chest. Be gentle. Give yourself a big hug. Be grateful for the time you take for yourself and for the truthfulness for yourself. And then gently roll to your one side and press yourself back to seated position at your own pace. Take your time. Keep your eyes closed. Feeling the effect of today's practice. Feeling the effect of truthfulness. palms together in front of your heart. Let's take three breaths together. Inhale. I'm truthful. Exhale to myself. Inhale. I'm truthful. Exhale to myself. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Hands in front of third eye, bind forward. Namaste. Thank you everyone for practicing with me. Thank you for all your presence. That's the best gift. See you next time.